Vape Review Android Vaping Tech and here we have the Kangatech Sub Tank Mini now it comes in three different colors we've got the silver as it's shown on the packet and also white and this is the black with the red and yeah it's a sub ohm tank and it's like a matte finished black inside there you can see the coils they made uh, things a bit easier it holds four and a half milliliters of liquid these are very popular devices You can see the air holes there, the airflow. You've got you can adjust that. So at the moment it's on that one hole. Then you've got the full open, which if you do slide it, you can adjust it so you've got half of that slot. And then if you go round again, there's a smaller hole, so that would make a concentrated, concentrated vape smoke. So you can adjust it basically to personal preference. Underneath that's a 510 thread, so you can connect that to most mods. At the top here we have a big drip tip. Yeah, nice to let, it's nice and uh, open that is to let a good lot of vape, especially when you're into clouds. Um, so basically this comes apart, you can unscrew the bottom to change the coil and also to fill the tank with your e-liquid. So there you go, there's a tank. Now the holes on these coils to let the liquid in are bigger. This is the latest version as of July 2005. I believe this one is a 1.3, which um, usually I think the default is in the connected is a 0.5, a low sub ohm, and it comes with a 1.3. I'll go through the contents in a second. Uh, there you've got your ohmages, it goes up to 60 watts. Minimum is 10 watts. So in the packaging we get the instructions which come into two different languages. You also get the verification code and instructions. You also get uh, cotton, Japanese cotton to put into the this mod here that is you can make your own buildable coils using that Japanese cotton and the screwdriver that I've just shown you you also get a spare Pyrex glass which is uh, pretty cool just in case you break yours so yeah it's a very nice little package there so as I said oh you with this you need to prime these coils before you use them so you need to squeeze some liquid in the top and say the side holes as well before you start vaping. Okay, I've just worked out a technique. Now, these little samples I've got, I've got quite a big lid on them. So if you've got something like this, now I want to fill this so I'm taking out my core, but I can sit it there. I don't need to sit that there. I need to sit this one there, right? And I can fill it. So I'm just adding my watermelon. I just had a little smell of it, and it smells quite nice. Um, so basically, it's to fill up to the. near the top of that centre pin I do hate these hard tubes, very hard to squeeze it's almost like drip drip drip
to it again I'm mixing my flavours I think I'm going to put this into my other squeezy tube that one and then I can squeeze it out easier so I haven't quite gone all the way to the top I thought the black lines on that centre pin were like how it kind of closes or something but it's just the reflections put me right off okay thanks and please like the video